What's going on everybody and welcome back. And every grown man is still a little boy. And I gotta say I am super excited to be messing around with this today. Uh, because it's fun, A, and two, because we are about to go onto the other piece of property that we bought a couple of years ago now. I don't remember exactly. And we're gonna clean that up. That pond is absolutely disgusting. Uh, here in Southeast Michigan, almost every house has a pond. Uh, because you, you use the dirt from the pond to build up around the foundation of your house. Otherwise, you sit too low in the water table. I'm going to roll some drone footage of this pond, and it is gross. Um, it was abandoned for several years before we bought the property, and Ethan and I have put some chemicals on it. We've done pretty good at killing off what's there, but now we really got to get the nasty stuff out of there so that we can have a chance of staying ahead of all that growth again. So we're going to have two fun days here of doing some let's dig action. We're gonna get that pond clean. exactly how long we've been going oh, but so far not too bad um, feel pretty comfortable putting the tracks into the water so the front of the tracks underwater um, so I was able to get all but like the last foot out there 
Um, honestly, I'm not sure how good a job I'm doing of, of scraping muck versus digging sand and dirt. Uh, but we'll let it dry out a little bit. We'll tip it over with Jonathan the tractor. We'll see how it looks. I also am hoping to be able to drive this way along this area so that I don't have to do so much readjusting, although it's not very difficult with the tracks. It's really not that big of a deal. So, so far it's looking good and really I thought it was going to be much, much more difficult to be able to tell how deep my blade was in, uh, but really listening to the sound of the tractor and and uh, and feeling the balance, you can actually do pretty well. So anyway, so far so good. going to take a quick pause right here and thank the sponsor of today's video who is the official footwear sponsor of the DIY Tyler family, Carolina Shoe. You saw me wearing my favorite 28 series in the excavator all day long working out here keeping my feet safe and keeping myself very comfortable and these boots right here are awesome for hunting because they have thin slit insulation in them and with the Goodyear grip on the bottom you can climb up your tree stands safely. Also, I wear my Carolinas at my, my day job. These have steel toe S117 slip-ons, nice and easy, keeping my feet safe at work and comfortable again all day long. Check out the link in the description below. Use the code DIY25, that is DIY25, for 25% off your order of any of the varying select shoes at that link in the description below. DIY 25 for 25% off to keep your feet safe for whatever you were doing, digging out a pond, working at your day job or hunting. Thanks Carolina for sponsoring today's video. All right, hopefully you can hear me right now. It turned out to be a little bit windy, but uh, I've been going about three hours. It's been about two hours since my last check-in and I went from over there all the way to right over here. And I believe the two hardest parts of the pond are done where the kids are in the rowboat. On the other side there, you can see a little patch of weeds that I wasn't able to reach. And then same thing over there. There's a little patch of weeds that I wasn't able to reach over by what was the beach area and will be the beach area again. So I think those are done. Uh, those are done and I think those were the most difficult parts. So I'll be able to drive sideways here again, which will really speed up cleaning off. So I just scrape, scrape, drive, scrape, scrape, drive. Where this way I gotta kinda flip things around. Although it is not difficult. I did rent the machine for two days. Kinda wondering if I only needed it for one. Um, but it's nice to not be rushed, I guess. So we'll give it, uh, I don't know, I really might consider bringing it back today, but we'll have to give it a run here and see what happens.
Right, good morning. Absolutely lovely morning out here today. <clears throat> and we're going to do day two of the pond. And I gotta get the machine cleaned up today to drop off first thing tomorrow morning. Maybe tonight, see how it goes. <clears throat> so the plan is to move all of this dirt over to that pile, which is where we're gonna make a berm. And I'm gonna I'm gonna roll it probably with the backhoe. I think it'll be faster than using the John Deere, although I might get that out and give it a try. So I'll start rolling all these piles over and then I'll come and get this one. And I also want to try to get into the pond a, a little bit again and see if I can get that little bit of weeds right there that I wasn't quite as confident to get because this is where I started. Got a little more confident with the machine as time went on. So I'll actually drive into the water a little bit and see how it goes. And I see, I see a couple other places where weeds are still look like they're sticking up and still in place, not just floating. And I might get like right over here and, and scrape them up as well to help clean everything up. then everybody looks like we're done I got the machine cleaned up back on the trailer ready to drop off tomorrow morning um, as I mentioned in the voiceover right over here we dig we did dig the bank this way just a little bit um, I think it was out it was at about here so maybe about three foot back um, just you know maybe 35 feet that way um, just to make it more of a sharp bank over here so that when the water does rise it doesn't come out into this field area right over here. Anyway, it looks uh, pretty dreadful right now uh, because there's lots of floating stuff in there that will come to the edge and we'll need to rake out. Hopefully all that dirt and sediment will settle and we'll get our nice blue color uh, because we did put dye in here earlier in the year. There is one other spot that I need to be able to get to. Uh, we're gonna have to get a rake to clean out some of the last lily pads and then we'll probably put an aerator of some sort in here to keep this thing nice and clean so that over the years we can continue keeping it nice and someday it might turn into a swimmable area. Future video maybe, we'll get some sand, we'll get some rock all the way around here. I do think I might rent a three point tiller on Jonathan and till around the edge and get some nice grass planted again. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Different than our typical woodworking, but I am DIY Tyler after all. I like to do things myself. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll catch you guys next time.